Hi, I'm Dave Brown from Garmin's Aviation Team, and I'm going to walk you through some of the new features of our GTN series, or Garmin Touchscreen Navigators. The GTN 700 series and the smaller 600 series combine GPS, nav, and comm capabilities like our popular GNS 430 and 530 devices. And they also add a wide range of new multifunction display capabilities. And with the proper equipment and subscriptions, things like traffic, weather, charts, and more are now just a touch away. The GTN 600 series models are exactly the same size as the GNS 430 and can control select transponders as well. The GTN 700 series offers a larger display than the GNS 530 and has the capability to control certain audio systems and transponders, saving valuable panel space. Please remember that these videos are not intended to replace the need to read the pilot's guide and other manuals that accompany each product, including the important product warnings and caution statements in those documents. Now, let's look at some of the amazing capabilities of the GTN models. To get started with the GTN, we'll first need to know how to tune our common nav frequencies. If we look at the top of our screen of our 700 series, there are several useful data fields contained here. On the left, we'll find our active and standby comm frequencies. The upper right contains our nav frequencies. Most tasks on the GTN are easiest to accomplish using the intuitive touchscreen interface. However, most data entry can still be made using the two knobs on the device, much like on the GNS 430 and 530. Knob functions vary slightly by what mode we're in. On-screen labels will always indicate the functions for each knob. Let's assume we're flying along in map mode, where we'll be spending most of our time in flight. The knob in the upper left will control our comm volume. Press the knob down once, and it will open and close the squelch. Hold it down, and a hold indicator will pop up on the screen. After a moment, the GTN will automatically tune our emergency frequency, 121.5, and set it as our active frequency. The second knob on the device in the bottom right-hand corner is generally a data entry knob. Right now, it will let us tune our standby comm frequency. Notice that the frequency is a light shade of blue. This shade will almost always indicate the field we are currently editing. Holding down on the knob swaps your active and standby frequencies. Tapping the knob, however, once will switch over to the nav field so we can set our standby nav frequency. Again, we can always reference the dynamic labels to know our knob's current function. Due to the compact size of the 600 series, our comm and nav frequencies share the same real estate on the screen. To switch between the two, just press the knob in the bottom right once. Editing and switching between active and standby frequency occurs just like in the 700 series. For many flights using a GTN, setting a direct to route into the GPS is the easiest and most efficient way to navigate to a destination. We'll start by pushing the dedicated direct to hard key just above the concentric knob. Anyone familiar with the GNS 435-30G1000 or any of Garmin's previous navigators will notice that data entry is exactly the same. So right now we're sitting in Aurora, Colorado and want to head up to Billings, Montana, which is K-B-I-L. So we select the K by rotating the smaller knob. Then rotate the larger knob to advance to the next letter and use the smaller knob to select the letter B. Larger knob to advance to the third position and smaller knob again to select an I. And we'll do the same for the final letter L. Now, we just need to push the knob to select enter and again to activate it as our direct to destination. So to recap, going direct to a destination is as simple as pushing the direct to button entering your destination by rotating the concentric knob and then pushing the knob twice to enter. Now that we know how to change comm frequencies and set a direct to destination without touching the screen, we have all the basic fundamentals of flying with the GTN.